you want a scalping strategy, watch this video and thank me later. This is a strategy that I'm working on and once I get better at it, I will charge it. So watch when it is free. I'm working on it and once I get the entry, the target, the exit, everything, I will make this an, a very good offer and I will sell it. So you are lucky you are watching this video for free. You are lucky you are getting this strategy for free. I can sell it a lot of money. So you better watch until the end, apply it in your trading journey, okay? So this is a five-minute scalping strategy. And because it's a five-minute scalping, scalping strategy, I will be required two time frames, guys. So I'm still building my case on this strategy. And once I become good, I will have to sell this strategy. So two time frames. So I will want, I will be working with a four-hour time frame and, and five minutes. So for now, what I have gotten from the previous examples I've done, for our strategy, I'm using it for confirmation. So I need to get a confirmation from a four hour and then five minutes I'm using as the entry. So using five minutes as the entry. So what am I looking for confirmation on four hour? I'm looking at two things. I'm looking at a market breaking and then retesting so it's like a break and retest kind of a strategy and how will i know that the market has retested and it i will get the i will get this strategy will happen or it will favor my it will favor me i'm looking for a hammer in particular a red candle uh, remember this is this I'm, I'm teaching you applicably only on uptrend because on a downtrend is a different thing. So a red, red hammer in in color. So a red candle that happens to be a hammer. So are we and are we together? So my it's I, I need to find a resistance or a zone where the market had broken and it is retested. And I want to see a hammer because four hours I'm using it for confirmation and five minutes I'm using it for entry. So what I mean is that I need a market that um, it has created resistance, comes and break that resistance. You can see the market has broken that resistance. This is what I'm saying, break. So this is my break. And then I would want to find a market retesting. So I would want to see this candle retesting here. So once the market retests, how will I know that the retesting has completed? I want to see a hammer. So I want to see a red, and this happens to be, I want to see a red, a red hammer. So a red or a green hammer. So today we will do with a red. And I'm still working to see how does a red or green hammer, I had done a video where I'm specifically uh, interested with a green hammer. But today in this video, I want to see a red hammer and I'm trying to do all the examples. Can a red hammer interfere or a green hammer? Because remember, a red hammer and a green hammer means different. Yes, the sellers are being rejected. But if you have a red hammer and a green hammer, there is a meaning. So I won't tell you every meaning and everything that I'm getting because again, like I have said, this is a strategy that I will be selling. So I don't want to spill all the teas in this video. So note, you can have those two, uh, two hammers. So there's the meaning of the red and there's also the meaning of the green. So basically, uh, I'm, for now I'm working on both, but maybe, you know, there's the way a strategy by the time you're developing it, you will maybe work with a green one or a red one. So in this video, let's work with the red one. So once I see a red hammer, I will flip to five minutes. So uh, once I see a red hammer, I will flip to five minutes. And in five minutes, what I'm looking at five minutes, I'm looking for a bullish anger. So you need to understand what does a bullish anger looks like. That is our strategy margin. So I'm looking for a bullish angle and then I will be targeting 20 pips.
that's what I'm saying. This is a strategy I'm working on. And once it is, uh, even I don't have the name yet, once I am done, so I'm just showing you this skeleton and how someone comes up with a strategy. Because for me to tell you I have a working strategy, I need you to give you the rules, the entry, the confirmation. I need you to, to get you the pros, the cons, the win rate. It takes a lot. That's why sometimes I sell my strategy at only $100 one strategy. And the full course is a thousand dollars, and the Zoom one on one one month is fifteen hundred dollars. And people are like, "That's a lot of money." But if it's a lot of money, buy. Watch me here for free. <laughs> so, on Euro USD for our we have a we first of all I want to know has this market broken our resistance? You can see it has broken. You can see we have some breaking here. So this market broke our resistance and then we can see because it broke, why did this market start to come down? Is it kind of retracing because we're on an uptrend? If you check this market, the market is bullish. So it can be maybe retracing a key zone that is hidden. And what happens? We get a hammer. Can you see? Now, in this case, this is a red hammer. And you can see our red hammer. I have told you, I'm still working to know, is it red or green that I will go with or both can work? So this candle is called a hammer and you can see it. Now, once I spot this candle, I will go to my five minutes to look for a bullish angle. Okay. So let me go to five minutes and look for my bullish angle. So again, the exit of this trade, I don't want the market breaking the lowest of that hammer because when I go to four hour, that is the lowest of that line. So I don't want again to give a lot of details. Let me, let me, let me shut up. I'm giving too much, I'm giving too much. So I don't want the market, the exit of this trade, if I find, if I get a red candle breaking that, uh, support I am out that's an exit okay uh, so we are looking for a bullish engulf imagine you enter right now right away that's what happens the market starts to sell on you so we are looking for a bullish engulf so you just be patient remember this is five minutes and if you're a scalper you are looking for uh, a five minutes, uh, it's called what? You are looking for a, um, a trade where to enter. You can see we have gotten a bullish angle. Can you see it? Do you, do you think this is a bullish angle? Do you think this is a bullish angle? Of course, a bullish angle. It has engulfed the red candle. So remember, once I enter this trade, my stop loss will be 10 pips or below because it can just come here and tap your stop, stop hunt you. So you just put like 20 pips because it's a ratio of one is to one. And then I'm targeting 20 pips because of that bullish angle. So I'm targeting 20 pips. Let's see where 20 pips is. So that's my target. So note my stop loss and my take profit are the same one ratio of one is to one. So I'm entering there because of that bullish angle. I'm targeting 20 and my stop loss should be the same, 20 pips, 20 pips. But if a red candle breaks here, I can just exit without waiting for stop loss. And you wait, just put your stop loss and you wait. And you come back after some few minutes, some few hours to see if you got the 20 pips hit and we'll see how long it took so the tp has hit and um how long did it take so we got our entry around midnight and um it hit at nine so almost how many hours those are many, like eight eight nine hours wanting only 20 pips but the good thing is that you had secured everything. So that is the first step. So again, there's a trick. And I, I, I won't show you that trick because I don't want to spill the teas. Um, so now I, I can give, give you another example with GBPUSD. So this is GBPUSD. Again, on GBPUSD, I have that hammer. 
you can see it's so clear and the reason why i know this is a hammer and it's what i want i'm looking for is because this market had broken this resistance and it's like coming to retest so i'm not sure is this a retracement because this is a buying market this market is buying so how does the retracement end they give me this hammer i go to five minutes and i'm looking for a what i'm looking for a bullish anger remember guys i've said if i want to exit i have to exit with that line no being broken i need to exit so let's look for a bullish angle so we can see we don't have a bullish angle and the market is coming down we don't have the bullish angle again we don't have the bullish angle so i'm looking where we have the bullish angle and guys we get a bullish angle can you see this green candle and gaffs the small red candle so i will again target how many pips 20 so I'm targeting 20 pips there. And the stop loss is, again, 20 pips. It's a ratio of 1 is to 1. So it's either in this trade I make 20 pips or I lose 20 pips. Because scalping, you don't want to, to put all your emotions in a scalping. Because scalping, we want few pips. And again, I have said, let's say you're in this trade and the market breaks down this candle. Don't wait for your stop loss to be hit. Just exit that trade because that is the first trigger your trade will be, your stop loss will be hit. So let's see what really happened to this market. Did it hit the take profit? What really happened? And you can see the take profit was hit. Um, let's come here. You can see they were almost coming to our area where I said the lowest. So if you put your stop loss at this lowest, they will they will come for it. So that's another win case. And the last one I will show you is GBPCHF. So let's do GBPCHF. Let's go to four hours. And um, you can see we have a pin, a hammer. So the, the thing is, just locate a hammer in a market that has broken. So this kind of a retracement you're thinking, because we have been given a hammer and then I go to five minutes, how will it happen? How will I get an entry? So number one, understand your lowest. So if the market breaks, sellers break this line, you're out. So let's look for a bullish angle. So we can look for a bullish angle. So we are trying to look for a bullish engulf. So you can see still we don't have a bullish engulf. So for, for me to have a bullish engulf, I need to know what I'm looking for because majority of people don't even know how a bullish engulf looks like. So you have first to learn how does a bullish engulf looks like. So you can see how much time I am waiting for the market to give me just a bullish angle. You can see? So do I have a bullish angle? Yes. Finally, I have a bullish angle. That green candle has engulfed the red candle. So I need only 20 pips. So I need 20 pips. And 20 pips is there. And then my stop loss is 20 pips. This is a very interesting scalping strategy. Go and try. Go try. Go try before I charge you for it. I have to charge you for it. Once I become good with it, I won't dash it for free. So you better. When you hear me having a profitable scalping strategy, just know it's something good and something great. So once you enter that trade, let's see what happens. Does it hit TP? Of course, it hits the TP. Of course, it hits the TP, guys. And that's how you'll become profitable with a scalping strategy. When you just want to, um, to just target 20 pips and you're ready to lose the 20 pips, trading becomes easier 
and understand the only thing that will make you enter that trade are the rules I've said, finding a hammer on four hour and having a market that has broken and it's now on a retracement. If this video is so, so good to you, make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe. And if you would want other strategies that are profitable, I'll still have them. And I sell my course at $1,000. My one-on-one -on -one Zoom class that goes for one month is $1,500. And also you can buy one strategy at $100. It's your choice. If I'm giving you this for free, you can only imagine what is in my course. Bye-bye and see you in the next one. Love you.